Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review and it's on The Lucky One, which is by Nicholas Sparks. I want to do a comparison in this video just between the book and the movie just because they were so vastly different from each other. I just found that the book was a lot better, a lot better. And I know a lot of people say that once you read the book, the movie doesn't matter. I'm not kind of a person like that, but it was just because the book was so good and they were just so far off on the movie. It was just really vastly different. Um, I'll start by with the book. Um, if you don't know already, The Lucky One, what it's about is it's about this Marine and he's in Iraq and his name's Logan and he finds a picture in the sand and he carries it around with him and no other Marine claims it. So he starts getting really lucky with it in his pocket and he starts by off winning poker games and all that sort of stuff and then he starts getting out of situations that normally a lot of people would very well die in. He just becomes really lucky and at one point of the book they actually refer it to him as it's his guardian angel, it's his angel watching over him. So he goes back home and he's sort of haunted by these images of war and everything like that and he sort of thinks that his destiny is in the girl that's in the photo, Beth. And so he sets out to find Beth and from there the story goes and it's just such a beautiful book it's really well written um this is the first Nicholas Sparks book I've ever read but he did an awesome job with it it's just so believable and you know you get so involved into the story and it's almost like you don't want to put it down because you're living in their world and you know it's almost like you're feeling what they feel you're smelling what they smell and you know it's just really in depth and really involved and I really liked the fact that they did it from both points of view so you could see a point of view from Beth you saw a point of view from Logan and you sort of saw a point of view from all the other characters which was really really good I like it when books do that um so now start with the movie the movie I just found that the first one big thing was the first two chapters of the book they were completely missed like missed out of it I don't know why they did that it was such a small key point to the whole book that they could have just put it in there within a couple minutes and it would have done it justice I don't know why they did that but yeah and I just found with the movie like I love Zac Efron Zac Efron is awesome I love Zac Efron but I just found that it was so not as believable as the book. The book, you got so drawn into it and you were, you know, a part of the whole story. Whereas the movie, this sounds really bad, but I didn't quite sympathise with the movie. Like when all the bad stuff started happening, like I did get upset in it, but when the bad stuff started happening, I was kind of thinking, oh, well, this isn't as good as what it was in the book I was crying in the book so yeah I just didn't find that they did that as good and you know I think Zac Efron he did an awesome job at portraying Logan I think that's because the whole time I was reading the book I had Zac Efron pictured in my head for Logan he just had that full rugged exterior um you know had you know really bad times that had happened to him but he had a really gentle soft heart and that was awesome for him to play him because he just really suited that role. With Beth, I that's one major key point for me that I didn't like the movie. I just found that I didn't like how she acted. I couldn't really relate to her character. I couldn't, you know, sympathise with her. I couldn't. I just I just didn't really believe it in the movie whereas in the book I had this whole other person pictured for it and you know when something bad happened to her I thought oh no Beth no it can't happen to Beth but yeah in the movie I didn't I didn't really get that at all just because I didn't I didn't really like how she did it but in saying that 
I thought it, I still thought it was a really good movie. If you haven't, if you haven't seen the movie, I'd really recommend getting the book and just reading the book because the book, the book is really good. It's such a beautiful story and, you know, just, it's, it's really emotional and it's, it's like, it's just got so much more depth to it. Whereas the movie, it's just another romantic movie with, yeah, with Zac Efron shirtless in a shower. But, yeah, it's, yeah, I just personally am a, am a really big fan of the book. I saw it about two days after I'd finished it, so it was really still fresh in my mind. So every little thing I was like, no, that's not right, that's not right, that's not right. And I probably, I probably shouldn't have done that because it, I didn't enjoy it as much. But, yeah. So, anyway, if you haven't read it, seriously, go and read it. It's an awesome book. Um, like I said, I did like the movie, but nowhere in comparison to the book. So, yeah, that's my review on The Lucky One um, by Nicholas Sparks. I really want to read um, The Notebook by him or maybe Dear John. I've already seen the movie for both of them, so I don't know if I could really get involved in the book. Um, I tried to do that with Hunger Games and I watched the movie and then I went out and bought the book because I thought, oh, I really want to see what happens in it. And I just really couldn't get involved in the story of it, even though it was it was like the first few chapters were really good. I just really couldn't get into it as much. Um, similar to that of Twilight, I because I'd seen the two movies and I thought, oh, hey, I'll go get the book. just didn't work out. So I don't know if it would be the same with the Nicholas Sparks books. But anyway, yeah, I've got another review coming up on a book that I'm nearly finished, which it's, I hope it's turning out to be an awesome book. So fingers crossed that it keeps being an awesome book and I can do a good review on it. Okay, bye, guys.